plans that are that are not current plans, and I think the situation that Maureen just discussed is which plan is the plan. I just want to be sure that that doesn't occur at the town planner's office where this plan comes in which doesn't have the same thing. So for the record this evening, this motion is in consideration of the fact that the plans that we are talking about are the previously approved plans with the removal of the parking structure, the addition of the landscaping uh, uh, around that parking area, which was the previous location of the parking structure, and the extension of the fire lane, and the smaller building footprint, and the preliminary architectural plans that, that uh, you've shown that indicate that there's going to be cedar shingle siding and, and cedar clapboards. Okay. Well, with that, I think I'm prepared to uh, continue. Thank you. Uh, the motion having been uh, proposed, uh, seconded, and amended, uh, is there any further discussion? One other item. Uh, I had, had uh, discussed during the uh, public hearing portion the issue of the uh, state and federal wetland permitting. Um, with the appropriate building permit process, that would be part of the application anyway, and, and I don't know that that needs to be a, an addition to this uh, motion, but okay. uh, just the applicant nods that they, they agree, and so I'm all set. Okay. Uh, and that the bond is part of the current approval and, and would continue, uh, maybe renegotiated according to some minor changes, but would be part of this as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, are there any other aspects of this which we would like to flesh out at this point? Hearing none uh, from fellow board members, uh, at this time, uh, all of those uh, in favor of approval for this application, please raise your right hand. It has been approved. Thank you very much. An excellent presentation. Pardon me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a motion to adjourn from a fellow. Do I hear a motion? I hear a motion. I have one other comment. Further business. Uh, has nothing to do with you guys, Ross. Uh, we, have, we have a further item of business. If I could have some. A little quiet. It'll go quickly, though, I assure you. Thank you. This, this is only uh, with respect to the correspondence that we received. I, I, I don't even know if it's worth making a specific reference to the letter that we received. I think we all know uh, that we did receive a letter, that we did receive a letter that specifically criticized the planning board and its, uh, I can't remember the exact words, but something to the effect that we were. Intractable. <laughs> yes, that's the right word. Um, if indeed that's the case, which I don't believe, having sat through several of those workshops, I thought that we were only asking what the town center zone had requested. I just simply would request that the public, when they write a letter like that, be more specific to the examples so that we can learn from our own process and from the public comment, which we're always willing and eager to hear. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, there, this is a component of customer service here. The applicant on the one hand is a customer, and the public and the abutters are also the other aspect of that customer service. So, I, I, I would agree with that, and I would also like to further note that there were numerous uh, references in our correspondence that there have been uh, multitudes of details of uses and, and information developed for our review. Uh, and I'd be very interested in seeing such information because it has not come to the board yet. Uh, and it would be refreshing to see it. That having been said with regards to 
purportedly accurate correspondence. At the end of your evening of illustrious services, uh, co-chair of the planning board, I would uh, request that we uh, uh, adjourn the meeting. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor? Let's go home. Thank you. We did that first. Oh. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs>